Okay, so we're about ready to uh, set everything up. Uh, notice I'm using the, the plastic bag that uh, came with the uh, control box. Uh, that's important again. It's uh, pretty wet and muddy out here. But anyway, it's really simple. You just uh, attach to the magnet. You see right there how it sticks on. I'm going to make sure that I've got it on tight. Yep, that's a tight fit. Okay, so here we go. Power button's right here. You hear a small beep. And then the first thing it asks you is whether or not you want the speaker on or, or off. Since I'm going to be using the headphones, I'm going to go with no. Okay, so the remote control is now on, as you can see. And now time to turn on the, uh, the headphones. Here, very simple as well. You just turn on the uh, minus sign. We've got that on. Volume is at uh, eight. I'll just have to try that and see uh, see how that goes. So we're ready to go. I brought some coins, some sample coins, as well as uh, some uh, junk targets. And using the GM Power Program, I'm going to take you through what the conductivity numbers are uh, for each of these targets. Okay, so uh, this will be our highest conductor. Uh, this is a Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, let's see what this uh, shows up on the uh, conductivity uh, scale. Okay, it comes out at 99. Okay, this is a Barber Half. Comes out at 97. Uh, what I have here is a Walking Liberty, half dollar. Okay, it's coming about 97. Okay, this is a Standing Liberty Quarter. Uh, it should have the same conductivity as the uh, Washington Quarter. Let's make sure. Okay, coming out at 94. This is a Barber Quarter. Fairly worn, but uh, this is how we find them. Okay, coming out 94. Okay, this is a Washington Silver, silver Quarter. All right, so it's coming out 94. Okay, this is a clad quarter. Ninety-four, just like the Washington silver quarter. Okay, this is a mercury dime. Okay, that's coming out at ninety-one. Okay, this is a Roosevelt uh, silver dime. Uh, let's see what this comes out at. Okay, that came out at 94. All right, this is a clad Roosevelt dime. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we're getting 91. Okay, let's try a Jefferson Nickel. Obviously, this is going to be lower on the conductivity scale. Okay, coming in at 64. Three cent coin. Let's see what conductivity this comes in at. Seems like a 49, 46, fairly consistent though, 49. Okay, this is a 1904 uh, Indian head penny. Comes in at 85. Okay, this is a wheat penny. 
see what this comes out at. Okay, comes out at 91. Okay, this is a Lincoln Memorial penny. Jeez. See on the back. See what this comes in at. Okay, 91. Okay, this is a zinc penny. Eighty-five. Okay, here's a nice corroded uh, zincan. This is what they typically look like when we pull them out of the ground. So let's see what this comes out at. Okay, it's coming out at uh, seventy-nine. Fairly consistent. Seems like it's flipping back between seventy-nine and eighty-two. All right, let's try some junk targets. So this is a pull tab. Um, purposely, I've picked a few pull tabs, one with uh, broken uh, tips on them as well, but uh, this one's full, fairly intact. You notice that it's folded over at the end. That obviously will change the conductivity, at least that's what I've found. We'll try a, different, a few different and see uh, what different conductivity they come in at under. Okay, it's coming in at 64, the same as a nickel. Now this one is broken. Difference in tone, I hope you guys can hear that. And no surprise, it's coming in at uh, 76. So certainly higher than the uh, the one with the full tab. Here's a nice one. This looks like a champagne uh, uh, bottle cap. This should probably come in fairly high. Let's take a look. Okay, interestingly enough, coming in at the same conductivity as the Zincan, 85. Okay, here's the bottle cap. Let's see what this one comes in at. Oh my god, 94, same as our um, silver quarter, Washington clad quarter. Okay, this is a piece of iron, and uh, we may or may not get a signal on this one. Again, I'm using the factory program, and so um, it's um, the iron discrimination I think is 8 on the, on the uh, factory program. I'll correct that on the video if, if it's not. Just getting a, some spitting. No registration. Yeah, no registration on the. Uh, well, there is now. Seems to be coming in at 99 or nothing. So we're we're getting some wrap around. Okay, here's a piece of foil. Getting 19, 16, 22, 25, but certainly low enough that once we get our discrimination up, we're not going to be detecting these little pieces of foil. To okay, here's a small key. Let's see what this comes in at. Okay, it's coming in at 85. Uh, the same as uh, the Zincan. We're just going to test the reactivity of the days, which of course we've heard is uh, very, very fast. Let's try. No problem. Okay, now even closer. Let's try that. You can 
hear it? Still no trouble. That's great. Let's uh, try something really interesting. Let's put the iron right on top of the uh, dime and see what happens. Wow. We get it. That's awesome. Simply awesome. Great. Fabulous.